This is a very quick explainer video about how to make your own do-it-yourself, non-toxic, natural cleaning wipes using hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> I got a ton of interest in this topic after posting a video with my father, who's an orthopedic surgeon, about the toxicity of many of the conventional brand cleaning wipes. Lysol wipes, which is dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride, or a QUAT, a Q-U-A-T, which has been proven to have reproductive damage or problems hormonally. But chances are, even if you choose to take the risks and use those wipes, you're probably taking an even greater risk than the bottles themselves, the manufacturers themselves, instruct you to take because chances are you're not washing your hands right after touching them, which is very clear on the label you're supposed to do. And the label also says in many of these cases that to use those disinfectant wipes against how the label directs you to use them is a violation of federal law. So if you wanna keep using them, that's your choice. If you wanna to move to something that's got no risk, all natural, but cleans and disinfects just as well, hydrogen peroxide's for you. You need some kind of dry wipe, and I got these off Amazon. I'll put the link below, but you can really choose what you want for your dry wipe. I recommend something that has a pretty good uh, firmness to it because you don't want like a really soft uh, tissue that's going to break. You want something that's got some durability to it. Of course, you're going to need a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide usually comes in a 3% solution, which we are going to dilute with water. That's the other thing you need is one third cup of water because we're gonna do one third water, one third hydrogen peroxide, whoops. And then some kind of bowl that we're gonna put the water, the hydrogen peroxide in, and then we're gonna dip the wipes into. Now, one of the most important factors for how to pick a container for your wipes is that it needs to keep light from getting through because that can affect the solution, your hydrogen peroxide, and so can heat. So that's why if you notice when you buy hydrogen peroxide, it usually is in this brown bottle that prevents heat and light. Basically the light would heat up the solution and then the heat would increase and then that affects the solution itself. So you want to make sure that whatever you get, you get it so that it doesn't allow light in. And then also you wanna make sure you store this in a cool place where it's not going to get very hot. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put my one third cup of water in the plastic bowl. Then I'm going to take one third cup of hydrogen peroxide and I'm gonna put that in the bowl as well. Then I'm going to open up my disinfectant wipe box here. I'm going to take out the wipes, okay? And I'm going to take one wipe, whoops, <laughs> one wipe, which you see here, okay? And I'm going to put it in the solution. Then I'm gonna wring it out, voila. If you want to dip it back in, go for it. Ring it out. And then you're going to place in your container, okay? And you can put that in and put your cap on right away. If that makes you feel better. And that's basically it. You just repeat that step with each one of your wipes, put it in the plastic, Drain it a little bit, put it in your box here. And you just keep doing that for as many wipes as you wanna keep. Now, you can test the solution to see if it burns your hands a little bit. Hydrogen peroxide can be diluted all the way to a 0.5% solution and still be uh, qualified as a disinfectant. This starts out at 3%. What, what we just did is three times more than that 0.5% solution that would be the bare minimum, but you can dilute it even more than that if it kind of stings your fingers. I have no stinging, so I'm gonna keep it at that solution. One third cup water, one third cup hydrogen peroxide. You get about enough to do 
I don't know, I could probably do 15, 20 wipes in this and then you can start over again. I recommend as you're looking for wipes as well, like these are bamboo, so I think that's good. They're residue free, chemical free. That's something to think about obviously because if you're using a toxin free solution but you're getting wipes that have chemicals in them, then that's kind of pointless. So thanks for watching. I'm Allison Morrow. If you're new to the channel, I quit my TV news career back in 2019 to renovate an Airstream to live in off grid-ish with my husband, our baby soon to come in a few weeks, and eventually build a family homestead. I do all kinds of videos on toxic free living, what it's like to move from city to country life, homesteading, and media analysis. So if any or all of that sounds interesting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Channel, hit that bell icon for notifications when I upload a new video and please do share this video with your friends give it a thumbs up let me know what you think because all of that really does help with the YouTube analytics sometimes when you talk about the sort of unconventional stuff you get shadow banned or demonetized by YouTube that's already happened to me a couple of times and in fact it happened to me on the first video I did about the toxicity of these conventional disinfectant wipes so it really does help when people like yourself share these videos again I'm Allison Morrow I will see you next time